Critical Tumble, where a bunch of longtime friends and internet nerds transcend geography and technical issues to play Dungeons and Dragons and critically fumble a lot, both literally with the dice or dice roller and metaphorically with this sounded like a much better idea in theory, even though it really didn't sound like that much of a great idea in theory either. <laughs> Previously, after some... Uh, unfortunate uh, shenanigans with uh, one of nice old patrons the other one now being uh, connected with to, to clarity and being much nicer about well basically everything um, and the the slaying of a purple worm and the testing of some explosives and various other bits of per personal shit uh, this lot went down you know, back to the primary deep gnome mining town in the up and under to deliver proof of culling, deliver the tithe to the Cabreaval Mining Consortium and give some various bits of information on what they did and what bits of readings went crazy and why and all manner of other nonsense to the uh, natural philosopher types who seem to have more or less colonized the local saloon while some of the post science talk conversation was going on barnabas was approached by the asshole archfey of uh, chaos and misrule and offered a deal uh his majesty leaves you guys alone permanently in exchange for Barnabas's way home. Now, Barnabas didn't exactly sit down and think about the wording of that deal. And is upset enough about the situation in which he found himself in the first place. So he basically accepted the deal without really examining it. He has since walked out to be alone, and Barnabas, can you make me an intelligence check? I don't know if I want him to pause or fail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a save, not a check. You want to roll a check, not a save. <laughs> And... You keep doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I know you're. You'll get it. You'll get it. But <laughs> I was waiting for you to look. I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, either way, no, you're too. You're too busy thinking whatever your thinks are. There are going to be checks throughout the day unless somebody decides to break it to you. Um, but. Uh, Meantime, everybody else is sitting there in various degrees of fuming. And, I mean, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but Alice a looks about this close to breaking things. Oh, Ava, too. There's a, there's a minor difference between... Yeah, not, it's not quite as obvious, but she's... Oh, it's, it's not even so much that. There's a minor difference between Ava strength negative one looking like she wants to break things sure. because of a, a general feeling of fair play and a protector with a strength of, like, plus three. Yeah. <laughs> D divinely fueled... Divinely and ice-fueled rage who has now been protected by somebody where she didn't have the option to stop them. Mm. And normally in this kind of situation, and I think it's mostly Remy and Hazel that know this one, she would be basically up somewhere high under the sun and having a good hard think. And she can't do that because she's under several miles of rock. Mm. But she's trying uh. desperately not to say anything because this is not about her. She's just, there's just this output of ice-cold seethe coming off her at the moment. And they've already had the discussion about uh, revenge going to happen. How long is Barnabas going to stay out there? 
I mean, where is he even gonna go? <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's it's it's. Is it, there an alley anywhere nearby? When, like, there is. In fact, there's the one where uh, Hazel made sacrifice of mushroom, <laughs> <laughs> which is still probably faintly glowing. Eh, not so much, but it smells of uh, incense and roast mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He'd, he'd probably be, be, I'd say, like at least a half hour, maybe an hour, just sort of well, having a good cry on it. Like, before he can, you know, get himself back together. Mm. Yeah. Um, I suppose that explains the eight. Uh,. And I'm fairly sure that after the kind of the half hour, the, the the first half hour, they're kind of, there's a certain amount of, should we check on him? And Alice is just, no. So you see Darwin, Darwin's like looking around. And, and she, she, she sees this and just goes, no. Yeah, exactly. How much time would you, how much time did you need? We give him as much time as he needs. It's about all we can actually do right now. Yep. Then we uh, try and direct ourselves as far down the rabbit hole of deal with dragon issue as possible so that we don't think about this until it becomes possible to deal with it. Yeah, that, that's a thing. Yeah. And how, how far down that particular rabbit hole are we going to go? Because it dictate how far we go with it dictates what we do next. Because we have a couple of options. We can focus Goldendale basically right now. Because I guess there's not the rush to deal with the Archfey. He's bought us that much. But if we take out all of the chromatics in Baronsvere, Tiamat's gonna get pissed. More so than she already is. The question becomes... Do we go to the Silver Vault to find a way to deal with her first? Or do we trust that there's going to be enough time between us dealing with King Black Dragon Asshat and Tiamat potentially rising to get that I research done? I don't know we should count Can you that. put it that way? Self muted. You, yeah, you, you're muted, Nubs. You did it like part way through your to your yeah. through what you said. When you put it that way. Ah, so that's literally all you went. It's like, um, I, I mean, not right now, but because I don't really think he'd be in a position to answer. But uh, I would ask Barnabas what he thought. But why that we're not we're not going to the know. silver vault we're not going to the silver vault specifically for that. I thought well, it might be nice rather than have him, you know, sit down and in, in the middle of our bullshit, which he probably doesn't need to deal with right now. If we got through okay. our bullshit with us who are used to it. Right. And okay. then said okay. we okay. were thinking right. this right. and see if he comes up with any objections. He's good at coming up with objections. Right. Okay. Sorry. 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 Anyway, yeah, I'm on board for hitting for hitting the silver vault before we try to contend with Black Dragon because then we have our contingencies essentially. I think that'd be smart. Yeah, probably you're right. I mean, this way we're we're prepared for what happens up to what our current goal is and we're already a bit more prepared for if there's more in addition like we, i mean we got up to the black and then dude if dude the dude, dude 
no, no, it's it's not a sorry thing. It's a take a breath, put your words in order, and then let them leave your mouth. Because you, uh, you, whole... you, you were saying too many words, and they yeah. didn't all make sense. This whole thing, I still, I'm still in shock. Uh, yeah, wow. It's a... Give yourself a minute. I'm not Give going to punch him. I'm not going to punch him. I'm not going to punch him. And speaking of giving yourself a minute, I think that also applies. I have been trying here because I know I've been trying to I make know. it very, very hard to make it not about me. And what do you do? You're still in shock. Shut up! I don't think any of us are in any shape to talk about this right now. Yeah, I, that is a fair point. Uh, uh, DM, is there uh, any way I could intuit what might suffice as helping for Alice besides the uh, the flying thing? Uh, Just give her a minute to calm down because that's this is getting a little well, unstable. Well, she 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 was actually about to turn around, look at Remy, and say. Re, how much shit are you going to give me if I pull a Barnabas and go and be by myself? Because I think I need to punch a hole in a wall, and I'd rather it not be in a building. And Remy leans in to, you know, remember to her. So I'm going to have to come looking for you after it's more than an hour or so, you know. Call it an hour and a half. I may have to be screaming, and I don't want to panic anybody here. You know how loud I can scream. <laughs> Gives Remy a kiss on the temple, and then d doesn't say a word, just walks out. And takes the opposite direction, because she can probably hear Barnabas at this point, but she doesn't want to have to have him deal with her so she just sort of goes the other way <laughs> <laughs> okay well since we have Remy waiting on a timer and we've just overall for now come to the point of general vote towards Silver Vault first we should just yeah. probably go around, do whatever we feel up to doing in town, or crash out. It's breakfast time. <laughs> and given the stress, we probably might want to still take a nap, is what I mean. There's at least, like, two people looking at you going, do you really think we could sleep at this point? And then just, I'm just looking right back and going, yeah, I know what that sounded like. <laughs> Remy just settles back. There's always uh, asking for but... drinks again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a way to start the morning that would be, hmm? It certainly could be a way to start the morning. We just don't know what way it will be. That's Probably the not the part. best way. No, I agree. Oh, come on. We all know this sucks. But let's focus on one thing. We will fix it. We'll find a way. Put it to the side for now, we'll put a pin on it, we'll deal with it when we can, and we'll fix this bullshit. Glory to, well, face checking whatever solution we end up face checking. And it's probably around about by this point that Barnabas has got himself together, because this is... This whole conversation has taken a while. Mm. 
So now that you've calmed down a bit, I would like you to make another intelligence check. Will do. No. Nope. Some days are just the No, you're you're you are entirely focused on on the immediate of cannot go home. But you're you probably won't be entirely at peace with it for a while, if ever, but if at the very least sorta of come to terms with what you understand of what you just did. <laughs> Yeah. So you know it's down to you whether you want to go back and join the others, and he'll he'll go back in, like I said, for about an hour or so. Just the point where you're sure he wouldn't start breaking down in front of anyone. Mm. That's basically it. Yeah, there are there are they're absent in Azamar, but mostly they're just <laughs> sitting, uh, contemplating. Mm. In some cases, half finished breakfast and coffee, and I don't know if Hazel was prevented from uh, starting her morning with drinks. I haven't attempted it yet, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> when, whenever Barnabas joins our table, I just get up well, so much as I can because he's a bit big. <laughs> yeah, so all, all of a sudden, the one of the more one of the more reserved of the party. It's a, it, this kind of tie with Froseth really um, gets up and gives you a hug. Um, thank you. Thanks. Uh, where does Alice say? Where'd she go? She. Taking it easy for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, to be fair, that does not take an intelligence check. Taking it easy, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> I'll be right, right back, and I'm going to attempt to <laughs> make for <Barter>. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel. Yeah, um, um, yeah, Darvin, you're. That's oh, that's gonna have to be a contested athletic check for grapple. That's what I was, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, you just inch, 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 grab, yoink. <laughs> <laughs> not so much. Well, a, a bit of grab, more just hand down on shoulder, not pulling down. But I'm just like, no, pause. <laughs> I swear he, Hazel. You swear he's inherited that from Nora. <laughs> <laughs> really? Not yet. Later. How much later before we inevitably forget about it? Yes. Maybe that wouldn't be the last thing. Mm. How Thanks. is this a bad plan? I can think of so many ways. Please do, do enlighten me. That Hazel is being prevented from doing is <laughs> quote unquote drinks. Mystery no. drinks. <laughs> Magical mystery drinks. <laughs> well, the love of all that's vaguely holy, it's like what, nine in the morning? You need to get yourself some help, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I like being surprised. <laughs> sure. You know, yes, but I don't think we do too, right now. I wouldn't mind being a ferret again. <laughs> well, that's a personal reason. <laughs> I mean, I can it's Hazel, do some research. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> There's probably at least one bar in Agraif that also does mystery magic drinks. Oh, that we know that for a fact. What? True. I could be, I could live to be a billion and never understand why I left you'd want to do that, but <laughs> different strokes, different folks, I guess. I mean, it gives clarity, research material. Is that you the know. excuse right now? <laughs> research material? And shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans is its own reason. <laughs> Alright, I guess. So, alright, we, 
what's the plan now? Well, for now, we're going to be focusing on the dragon problem. Mm. And after we deal with blue, it's silver vault words. Because even if you bought us quite a bit of remove from Lord Asshat, number two, we still have to see... Um, see to Lord Asset number one and the potential rage fit of his mother. Uh, also, uh, Ava and Darvin in particular can flag up. There's also that massive green. Uh, some of mm. you might recall that there were evacuees from the Elven Wild. Yep. Um, there's black and still green in addition. And the yep. white that destroyed Grey's Inn. The white. Red somewhere? Uh, the red was dealt with. Alice they dealt with. Well, no, that, that red is that uh, red. But I think there was another... Froseth, you remember this one. It was up uh, a volcanic area around about Cragveer. Yeah, up in Cragveer. Right. Lots of uh, artifacts. Yes. And, and, well, sort of ad, adjunct somewhere along. Uh, the That Dragalich thing, too. Oh, yes. Only include him because technically dra was Dragon at one point. Clarity, not... Clarity, can you give me an Arcana check? Sure. Hold on a second. You'd be the one, yeah. You'd be the one who'd come very close to having her Jeez. research touch on shit like this. When did they kill the Dracolich? Exactly? Because you don't entirely remember that they've mentioned because uh, you know exactly how long it takes for a Dracolich to you know, or a Lich of any kind to find a new body. It might be worth knowing whether this thing is back yet. So, how long ago was it that you killed the Draculich? Given your travel time, it's getting on to a month. Um, um let's see. About a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's about it's, right. And for clarity, yeah, it's probably back by now. So, um, it might have found a body again. Mm. Joy. And of course, oh, you boy, guys. You guys. Itself. Of course, you guys. It's not so much the reassembled. Uh, those of you who saw know exactly where in that very same province. In point of fact, uh, a draco lich could find a rather large dragon body. And he wouldn't even need to go full on like piecing himself back together and regenerating. He could just borrow the giant. Corpse, great, 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 great. Oh boy. Yeah. So. Well, at least that. Would that even change its real, its true original color? Because I believe it used to be blue, and it kept spitting lightning at us. Uh, with that roll, um, it still have whatever magic it had, but. If it's now inhabiting a red dragon, it's going to do the things a red dragon can do. I relay that to the group. So instead of spouting lightning, it'll be doing fire now. Giant cones of no. For the same reason we didn't want to be in front of Corivel. Mm. Or both. Except Depending flaming. Wow. That's... Clarity, I think I'm. <clears throat> I think I may be borrowing a page from 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 you here, because the part of me is oddly fascinated by how how that process actually works. <laughs> the, the the inhabiting one body as opposed to another, and the, the change that that incurs. I don't know why, but for some reason, my brain's like, dude, the mechanics of that are astounding. <laughs> it's fascinating from an academic level. Um, yes, exactly. Not so great in a personal experience sort of way, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, I know that's highly inappropriate, but at the same time, just the, the fact that I'm borrowing a page from your book is 
a little amusing to me. Yeah, there, there, <laughs> there is, however, a certain amount of from Bahamut, really. Sorry. <laughs> and unfortunately, given given what Darwin's already said about this, I can't even have him make any kind of rule to see if bardic expertise would let him figure out why what he said was actually kind of stupid. Um, actually... Just assuming it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, clarity with that role, it's not, the mechanic is, the mechanic is not actually that difficult. It's the spirit and the mind, you know, that would normally go to whatever afterlife is out there. And that's, that sort of thing is where the magic comes from in that kind of creature. In a body with a whole different set of capabilities inherent to its physical nature. So it's not all that weird a mechanic. The magic from here and here travels and puts itself in a body that can breathe fire instead of lightning. I explained that too. <laughs> I'm going to, I've made other people relay these things properly in character, but okay. I did try, did try to make it as clarity-like as possible, so I'll let you get away with it this time. Thanks. Be prepared to actually explain complex intellectual things in clarity voice in future, however, because that is her her jam no i know it's just i know it, I, I know I, I'm, I'm teasing you mostly i'm serious <laughs> about the thing but i'm not really upset about it so that's five so far that i can rattle off well it's five and a half if you can what it's our. Uh, it's no, no, no. Our... Five and a half. I, I want clarity Five from Ava. Uh, right, uh, right. Five and a half. half. Thank you. Sorry, Ava. So I was right. yeah, spacing out on that. Uh, huh. Gotta think. What? What? Because while we're waiting, what could we do? Because we, we want, we don't want to cut anything off short, and, yeah, I don't know if any, if, if being out, if out here would have any supplies left after, um, they're still arguing. A, cer a certain, after that group colonized the building and may or may not be going through supplies at a rate far exceeding anything we've ever done given the amount of research they probably run around doing when they're not doing whatever that is flitty from around a mouthful of bacon this is sort of i think you need to use your words <laughs> I'm just going to inflate more bacon. Are you trying to tell them this is this is in Sylvan so that Hazel can understand it? Are you trying to tell them that you could go shopping? Yes, actually. Then Thank why you, don't you tell them that for the ones that I... don't understand me? <laughs> I'm going to be. I'm needing a minute to parse everything and whether or not people want to go shopping or not, or if we could, given there's, like, not a lot here. To be fair, you don't even know what's here. You've basically made a trek from, you know, finance office to mayor's house to saloon, and you haven't even looked at the other buildings. Yeah. Not I think we have a little time to about that yet. Uh, mute it again. In the middle of that, Noms. Sorry, Renee, I what? think we have a little time to kill. Hazel. So. Shopping, then. Yes? Yes? Okay. Um, I'm just going to, um, 
I pull out the Feywild book that I had borrowed from the library. I was going to do some reading. I don't know if it'll help, but I mean, it might. That's fine. We can join you back when you when we finished. Yeah. Mm. Barnabas, join me. Sure. And to uh, quickly hug Clarity. Good luck with the research. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck with shopping. Grabbing Barnabas around the hand and attempting to new him as much as I can, given he's far larger. <laughs> it's kind of like having a very excitable dog on a leash. <laughs> hmm. And you just go with wherever they're going because you don't want to put up, deal with the fight. I get it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, but it's more, it's more, it's more of the speed. You either it's your choice whether you try to match your speed to hers or just be a little bit of a drag, just because you know that there might be smaller individuals out there who might get stampeded by a hazel. <laughs> It's up to you which of those you pick. Are you trying to keep up with her, or are you, or are you being the anchor to slow her down? Anchor. Definitely the anchor. <laughs> anchor is safer. Much safer. Brilliant plan. So, what is everybody else doing? Um, who was it who knew Sylvan? To, well, Hazel. Hazel, Clarity, uh, Ava, and Darwin has the helm of comprehend languages. I, so I, I, I thought you I did. Um, yeah. I got draconic. Oh no, that's uh, right. I'm sorry. I no, I knew. I knew you spoke one of Flitty language. So no, it's Hazel, Clarity, and Darwin. So you didn't understand any of that, but Hazel did explain she was going shopping and tried to newm off with the. Uh, You've 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 seen you've seen you've seen family lap dogs trying to do, <laughs> drag the, uh, the, the 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 house staff taking them for walkies the way Hazel <laughs> is uh, dragging Barnabas. So seriously, what is everybody doing? Ava's probably be making notes of various things they need to do, like researching the vault. I don't know. Figure out what to do with each different dragon. So probably staying with clarity and, mm. and cute little research nook. <laughs> Darwin, I'll tag along with Ava and I mean with uh, Hazel and Barnabas. Just, just sort of watching the hijinks as it were. <laughs> um, I'm just going to see where where this leads and not interfere as much as possible because this dynamic is choice <laughs> this is like this is like a classic odd couple so it's just like nothing necessarily bad will come of this but holy shit this could be very funny to be fair it that is because Barnabas is lawful good hazel is chaotic good they're enough Ooh. on the same wavelength to be Working towards the same goals, but their means of getting to them are very different. Exactly. <laughs> Froseth, what about you? Uh, Froseth will probably stay with Clarity and Ava and more more time just meditating and processing everything that's happened already this morning. <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's fair. Remy? Yeah. Remy will... She'll stay, too. She summons her sword to kind of clean it, even though it probably doesn't really need to be cleaned. No. Also... <laughs> it's it's looking, looking for something to clean and being like, it's magic. Fuck. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's looking it over and cleaning it and having a think about that whole awakening thing. That's, that is entirely fair. But, yeah, um, uh, to be fair, since everybody else is either distracted or very inwardly turned, or in the case of Barnabas, rather both, um, 
It's probably more or less Remy who notices that the hour and a half she gave uh, Alice a comes and goes. And then she gets up, waves to the others, and goes checks her ring to go look for Alice. Yeah, you can you 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 get the general sense of you know internal mental compass and we'll deal with that um meantime uh barnabas hazel and darvin i mean there's not a whole lot it's it's kind of like the kind of wild west towns that you get in like disney world or, or similar so it's 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 a it's a few saloons some rather interesting food wagons you didn't think there were quite that many ways of cooking mushroom on stick <laughs> there does seem to be something that smells both sweet and unbearably spicy which is apparently a uh, some kind of spice candied dried mushroom. This being detected, I am orbiting in its direction as much as I can, given Barnabas being an anchor. Uh, that he's only slowing you down. He's letting you go where you want to go. He's just not letting you go that fast. Right. So. So yeah, yeah you can you you can smell what she's headed for. <laughs> And the deep gnome kind of looks up and looks with some concern at the interested expression on her face. <laughs> uh, I am not entirely sure that this kind of food is for the, um, um, sun-dwelling palate. I have tried. Burn, Mikan. I need whatever this is now. <laughs> Burn lichen is not wow. that much, and to be fair, you've had stronger shit. Uh, burn lichen is what Alice a gives people to get them used to spicy. And let's see that we that 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 the individual who provided me with the burn lichen also decided to ramp up progressively. So, where is this individual from? Uh, among the people, the northerner ones. And you've been eating that. How are you still alive? <laughs> I like spicy. I repeat the question. Do you just let her put whatever she wants in her face? Um. Basically, yeah. It's easier. <laughs> it's, I, I, I would like to think the burn hand teaches best, but it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe one day it will stick. <laughs> well the burned mouth isn't doing it I don't imagine the hand is going to be any better <laughs> okay uh, do you want uh, mild medium hot or uh, uh, I don't know if you will have any idea what this means. This is a word that we picked up from some of the agref people. Uh, thermonuclear? Oh, Let's go with hot to start with. To start with, okay. <laughs> Just... it's, it's a, it's a, it's a small-ish bag of really tiny mushrooms. Dried, obviously, so they're shriveled a little bit. And yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a maple sweet but there's also so much spicy. Uh, if you ate that, that's just the smell. Yeah, I know. That's the okay. Initial reaction. <sighs> Trying time. Make me a Constitution saving throw. How oh, bad is my face about to melt? Oh boy. <laughs> Don't think it's your face you need to worry about. <laughs> so mean. Uh, you. Oh god, with that, you given that you're actually moderately surviving that, you kind of want a milky drink, like, now. But, uh, it's. There's some maple in there under a 
kind of a gritty, gravelly, almost clove and pepperish kind of feel to the burn, but jalapeno in the hot, you know, and then some kind of thing. It's a very, oh. very interesting, you know, dried shiitake mushroom texture <gasps> thing, too. And the deep gnome is looking at you like, Ooh. oh, be shit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna need something in the realm of hydration, but I'm good. I see that you are half elf. Was the other half fire, Janasi, by any chance? Oh, well. Oh, okay. Uh, there is. There is. Uh, it 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 just calls it mujus. Uh, down the road, it's it's not quite it's not quite milk. Is mujus? Uh, 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 don't ask me to explain it. It's if it, it, it the, the, the given this is uh, Cabreval. Yes. Cabreval. It, it, it's it's definitely it's science. It's cool. This is gonna be fun. Thank you. There's a couple of stalls down. There is a. Rather interesting contraption with a, it's, it's attached to you know, your your typical food cart kind of thing. It's a big tank that seems to be making this almost washing machine kind of noise. Optically <laughs> broke even. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's in character. I, it, it's just he's just taking it all in. <laughs> just. You broke. You didn't break Ethan. You broke Darvin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Success. I made it right up to this thing. Is this is Mujus? Yeah, there, 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 there is. There is a sign. Um, to be fair, it is written in undercommon, so you cannot read it. Uh, but uh, the, the the deep gnome responsible for this whole thing is wearing uh what looks to be. You guys know what an aviator helmet looks like. Just mm -hmm. goggles. Oh, oh my god, yes. My mom had one, actually. <laughs> nice. Can I help you? I require moo juice. What flavor are you after? There are flavors? Um, well, there is there is the base for the moo juice, and then there is the flavors in the moo juice. You see, for... This is, this, is, this is milk that is not cow or goat or anything. This is from... Well, I have some coconut, but there is also uh, almond, cashew, oat, rice, soya. We this, this process thing. We can we cannot keep cows. We cannot keep cows here, so we we do this. But then you can have uh, chocolate and strawberry and banana and vanilla as the flavorings. Just. Hazel's got this look of, I need to try everything. <laughs> uh, oh boy, I have a... I, 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 I'm developing a list at this point. Gods, I love this country. It's more the province than the country, but thank you. Ah... <sighs> uh, and by the way, it was it was three coppers for the 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 hot and spicy uh, dried candied spice mushrooms. Uh huh. Uh, out of curiosity, is there anything you would recommend for going with? And I'm holding up the dried candied spice mushrooms. Hmm. Well. Chocolate goes well. The hot setting, if 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 curiosity is um, that's rel if that's relevant. It, it, you you you've lost him. He's thinking now. I think for I think any of the fruit ones we probably should not do because that does not go very well with the maple thing. So we are probably looking at chocolate. And I think almond. Let's do that one. 
Would you like it regular or extra frothy? Let's go for mega froth. Yeah, you, that, that's a, that's another three coppers, and uh, it, it produces the syrups and it changes a setting on the tank and. <laughs> and it just sticks in this other little machine that just <laughs> froths it all up. <laughs> it's about the size of a, a, a can of soft drink. I love this! <laughs> this is incredible! Can I try the oat and I. Was it banana? The, was there was one of them banana oh uh, that wow <laughs> regular regular or extra frothy um regular changes another setting it's it's different speeds of <laughs> from the and and, and syrup and yeah that's three coppers to you as well just this is amazing you are brilliant. I'm just going to hold the uh, the the bag of spicy near Durvin as like try. Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, this high jinx, I don't mind being part of. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna raise it up to near Barnabas. No, I'm 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 no not not. <laughs> I mean, you're already drinking some. Uh, no, I'm not. Even <laughs> I, the, 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 the be goggled deep gnome is like, so you would not like to try any of the mojus? Uh, it's I, I, really, it's quite good. Anything that is locked milk but doesn't involve. Uh, there's no polite way to put this. You can't call it soy milk. There's no soy titty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm okay with skipping. It's not really in my science. Science has made a soy titty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested. I'm great. I think I may have broken it. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can say it with an almost straight face, but watch again Anthea is double over laughing. Just nope. Anthea's just died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he, he, find, he finds himself looking down, very indignant, deep gnome telling him this. So, <laughs> and he probably got Hazel turning colors and laughing, knowing Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cackling, I, trying. I, I mean, no offense, like, very much trying to like not, not fail. I'm personally down with. That, that that is fine. You could have just said no, thank you. That would have been the polite thing to do. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. My my most gracious apologies. I do have some goat's milk if you would like it. Please. Would you like any of the frinks? Chocolate, please. Thinks about it, puts it in front of you on the house. Thank you. As soon as he's not looking, Barnabas slaps down. Was it was it three coppers yeah. for everybody? Yeah. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's, 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 he's tinkering with bits of machine as he sort of goes, Have a lovely day! You too. Thank you! <laughs> well, here's the now what? More shopping district, because there's got to be... There is, if in effect, a general store. It's basically... It's... I mean, let's face it. It's a, it's a cross between the the... the Oldie, ye oldie Western general store and like a Walmart. Oh my god! <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Wally World. Kind of. I mean, it's it's. Uh, you, you, it seems to sell a little bit of everything. From you know, uh, 
bolts of cloth and some ready-made bits. It, if you look inside, it's more like an indoor market than anything else, because you've got people who've set up their little bits of stalls, so there's you know, there, there's almost your food court in the one section over you know, by the back, and you've got you know, a bunch of people collected over there uh, selling you know clothes and, and mining ware, and you've got housewares out towards the back end on the other side from the food court and dried I'm goods, that flashbacks. kind of thing. Yeah, kind of, except there's also, you know, more, you know, things like pots and pans and there's even small bits of furniture. More I'm accent like pieces for a house than anything else. You get the impression that most of the habitations around here kind of come included with, you know, the basic beds and that kind of thing. So it's more throw pillows and throws for, for your rug and accents for the table and that kind of thing. The occasional stool and chair if you want extra for company, that kind of thing. I'm going to look for the nearest equivalent to the as-seen-on-TV aisle. Because <laughs> I want to see whatever wacky and Insane contraption these people are trying to to, to, to sell as convenience. Uh, they don't so much have that kind of thing here. They I mean they, they don't they don't really fuck around this deep down. The I mean I know that these that 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 egg refs, you know on the egg ref flag is probably embroidered fuck around and find out. <laughs> But this is the, that this is Cabrera Val. They have to be a little careful. Most they have is, you know, those really bizarre, useful, but you would never consider actually owning them. Cooking implements like egg slicers and those little things that you stick in the ends of corn on the cob, usually shaped like cobs of corn, and these little good. little tiny grabber widgets for getting. Gherkins out of the jar and I'm just staring at the shelf of the, the shelf or rack or whatever display these the, the has been of these and I'm just vibrating. I mean, they they do have a, a wonderful array of different shaped egg timers. <laughs> <laughs> the gear there is there is a there is a, a kind of a chibi cockatrice shaped egg timer <laughs> i'm picking this one up <laughs> <laughs> it's a flat it's a tiny flat for me chicken <laughs> <laughs> and darvin who probably still has flashbacks from that sees it and then sees hazel you <laughs> <laughs> And I am also, hmm, is there one, sh okay, is there one shaped like a fairy dragon? Mm, no. Rope dragon? I'm just, I'm not even bothering rolling the head to fate. They're long and thin, egg timers are, no. I Spiral. Yeah, no. So no. Dragons, I'm just looking around, looking around. Well, you will have to do you strange, strange little thing. <laughs> but they, they, but they have, they have the standard, you know, cats, dogs, mice. There does appear to be. You're not entirely sure why the hell this is here, but this looks like the description of moose. He's got the, the moose one. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna grab that too. And there is, there is a penguin, kind of like the little dancing one that uh, Clarity. Saw in the, yeah, so Darwin and Dar Darwin and Barnabas are watching the To be fair, I'm not even sure that Barnabas knows what a cockatrice is, but that is the ugliest fucking chicken you've ever seen. One hundred percent in the better off not asking questions. <laughs> Let Hazel do her thing. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much I, I, we're, at some at some point, I'm sure I've gla I've looked at the look on Barnabas's face and just sort of went, mm -hmm. "Yeah, right there with you, dude." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't say nothing; just sort of went. <laughs> yeah, there there is also in the same basic section. I mean, it's it's that whole you know novelty oven mitts and 
and, and aprons with twee slogans on them. And... Okay. Novelty oven mitts, I'm looking for some that are mom and mama sized. The, which the, is probably the, most of them. Yeah, this is this is deep gnome territory, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, novelty, 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 what would be the... Hmm... A couple, of, if they look like they, they're patterned after like armored gauntlets or something silly. I'm just going to say yes. This is a place where adventurers is common. Although, because it's, you consider it, I mean, because it's Twilly and Twilly's a Cabrera Val native. She was born here. There are some, um, you know, you know, the ones I have at home that are, that have the kind of Canadian flag patterned. Uh huh. This one, there, there are some with a with a Cabrera Val sort of flag printed on them, which is mostly a fairly bright copper kind of color with uh, darker copper gears and things uh, embroidered on them in a neat little pattern. Grabbing the Cabrera Val ones and then looking for a human sized gauntlet set because I remember Francine. And I have ideas. <laughs> you you find one set languishing at the back of a shelf that nobody wanted to buy because nobody human size really lives here. <laughs> Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to say you see them, but they're up a little bit too high. <laughs> Barnabas! Barnabas, help! <laughs> uh, grabs it. Or... <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, gauntlet oven mitts. <laughs> because apparently. <laughs> and see. <laughs> what is the most mama slogan I can find? I should point out, you know that you know that Nessie soup ladle? They have, oh, no. they have those here. I, yeah, this is this one's for me. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys basically see this 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 soup ladle shaped like a plesiosaur, except this one actually has little fins that, according to the label, uh, actually paddle to help s stir your soup. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. That's kind of adorable. <laughs> Going to find every wacky gadget in this town. <laughs> yeah, to, to be fair, the the individual who's watching you maraud through their 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 section wears says we do have a main shop in Agreth. Lean hands over a little square of stiff parchment. It's a business am... card. They have business cards. <laughs> <laughs> I am tucking that away with with my monies. In his... Yes. Uh, what you have picked up so far, incidentally, will run you fifteen silver. Fifteen silver. Well, come on. Uh... It's it's three egg timers. The wacky ass soup ladle. And no, yeah. that was me. That was me trying not to burst out laughing and, and just letting it all go in one sigh. That's all. I wasn't. That wasn't in relation to the price. I apologize. That's fair. I'm. Hmm. I'm going to uh, yeah. Well, once I found the appropriately Miranda slogan apron, I'm going to uh, take that and the rest of the stuff and plunk down a gold. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, first of all, the additional apron would bring it up to 17 silver, and remember that a gold is 10 silver, so you've underpaid. Yeah, no, plunk down a gold, and then plunk down the, the plunk down, uh, the, uh, plunk down the appropriate amount of silver in it as well, the seven. Okay. So I just did that first, and then, like, trying to finagle the stuff and going, I am trying not to trap the yes. Switch the, the silver. Po points at the shelf. The you know the the the, the, the counter. Thank you. I can put these in a bag for you. Yes, 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 please. It tucks everything in the bag while you sort out your money situation and just uh, hands you a little, little canvas sack. Just 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, not so little, given it's... It's sort of expanded. <laughs> it's, I mean, it, a lot of it compacts. Not, most of it wasn't that big, but not compared to the bags you guys are used to anyway, so... It was extremely happy bouncing. Does anybody want to do anything else while you're in this stupid shop? <laughs> I've been just keeping your mind off. You're not even there. Yeah. Um, I'm, mm. I'm asking the ones who are in the shop. Sorry. I'm, I'm here for the show. <laughs> I've been watching it. I've been having a blast just watching Hazel just be Hazel. This has just been... This is this was this has been it's amazing. For, watching Hazel be Hazel is good for the soul. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. I'm going to um, after we've exited the shop, go through the bag, produce the moose, hand that to Darvin. Thank you, because actually, when you snagged it, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Now. Squeak. Slight squeak. <laughs> Nowhere near <laughs> Hazel level, of course, but just... God, I don't you know. <laughs> we should probably just meander back at this point. So I have a few more to distribute. <laughs> um... Yeah, given given the time we're at, we'll, we'll very briefly go over what... Uh, what y'all have been researching, um, Ava, give me a brief once-over of your list or whatever it is that you're pondering, just because. I'm basically listing um, the things we need to look for in the silver vault, like uh, stuff on the archway, stuff on the dragons. And so to be fair, you already have a book on the dragons. Uh, from 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 Hazel's parents. Um, Is it from it's, it's, it's more. Well? It's more. Uh, Hazel brought that with her. Um, you didn't ask for it when she left. Oh right, right, right. Sorry. But uh, you you're probably thinking, you know, check Hazel's book when you know mm. we're not down here, because you already picked out the information you needed about the blue. Mm -hmm. Um, the things that. Fuck it! I'm rolling this for you. My dice like me better than the dice roller likes you. Um. Things you need to look through in the Silver Vault. Archfey. Tiamat. Specific focus on how Bahamut dropped her into Avernus in the first place. Anything after that, and you know, the likelihood of being able to put her back if she manages to get out. Um, any, I mean, if, if this is, if this is a place that has everything ever written, journal entries, all that kind of thing, anything you can find on that black shit, which has kind of gone by the wayside, but mm -hmm. y'all know that it's a significant problem, uh, would also be worthwhile looking to make sure that, you know, see if you can focus on whether or not any of that shit has actually found its way to Avernus, proper which would be bad i mean it's bad enough on the prime material plane it would be worse if it was actually actually infecting tiamat mm -hmm. that, 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 i'm pretty sure that you know as it, that that thought just kind of yeah. <laughs> <it down> <laughs> yeah and we, to be fair given that it's not a very long list uh you uh, you wind up kind of I don't really want to think about that. I don't really want to think about that. But it's like not thinking of a pink displacer beast. Maybe Hazel with, had the right idea with drinks. Oh, crap. I'd probably, if I, if I finish that quickly, I'd probably um, note down everything I remember from our fights with and think, how do I counter that? Something like that. Um, you know enough about dragons, given who and what you are. To know that, first of all, you're talking about a blue dragon. And yes, you dealt, dealt with the blue dracolich, but it was just waking up. And it 
pretty clearly wasn't accessing every ability it had. You fought an adult green, and a, in your case, a juvenile blue. You're going to be dealing with potentially an ancient. And th honestly, you don't know what magic this thing has. You were, I mean, okay, you weren't all right with Coravel, um, uh, up until he started chucking magic at y'all. But <laughs> once he did, you were in some significant straits. So while you can get a basic feel for, you know, the, the kind of terrain... You don't have that much on what its lair is going to do, but you get a feeling that sand devils and uh, lightning is going to be heavily involved. Um, less blocky, more owie in the, in the lair actions. There's not that much of a counter for that. There's nothing to ensure it doesn't happen. There's just... Like you said the last time, you know, earlier that morning, don't bunch up. Mm. It's all you can do. At the end of the day, it, one of the things that Ava and Darwin to a point, but he's actually getting better, need to learn is that you cannot plan for every contingency. Yeah. And as much as Ava hates it, that's, that's the whole thing. In Clarity, you're reading about the Feywild. Mm -hmm. Only problem is you're smart enough to know that as you're going through this, he doesn't actually live in the Feywild. That was part of what Alice was uh, talking to people about. Where you guys were sent was not... Where those guys were sent was not the Feywild. There is a section on Archfey, but it, to be fair, it's kind of an academic haha -ha, fuck you know, because Archfey do not conform to any specific natural laws. They're really annoying that way. You know, nobody's sure if they're just really minor deities or if they're way too overly powered mortals. We've never heard of any. Art, they've never, no one's ever heard, no one who wrote this book has heard of Archfey's aging or dying. And there's not even the unless slain bit because nobody's ever heard, nobody who, who was talked to about that book has ever written anything, has ever written or researched anything about an Archfey being slain. Yeah, she's mostly just reading for background information. Yeah, I mean, most of them do live in the Feywild, and to be fair, those those ones probably had their home there once, but they seem to have made their own real estate since. Some Archfey will do that if they're old enough, powerful enough, and fed up with the neighbors. But there, there, there's a there's a lot of stories. Some are at least as nasty as what's been done to you guys. But to be fair, in those cases, a lot of the time there is no opportunity to actually get out of the situation they've been put into. It's not like you fight this and we let you go for another day. It's things like theater that just won't let you leave. That that kind of thing. So, gotcha. yeah, you and, and Froseth, uh, before I move on to a very brief uh, a Hazel with her widgets, is Froseth just meditating with a small M or elemental meditating? Oh, I, w I was looking at the, the notes we had for the, the abilities, and at 10, I can, according to that, I can do it with all elements instead of specifically one okay so i was thinking of doing that and with the recent talk about the uh draco lich being back seeing if i could see where what that is going on with that thing okay and you do need to make a wisdom check for that if memory serves me yeah Eleven. Not much, but 
there is definitely the sense that I mean, what you feel is, there's kind of, on one level, it's pride. It's, this body is bigger and stronger and newer. But there's that gash I've had to mend and the broken bones around my wings and those two. It's recent. It may have just woken up. But it's also driven out of where it, or where it first lay. Because once this thing is in a dragon body, some other agent is going to have to be the one to open another loophole to let a chromatic dragon enter the country of Equitas. And given that Furseth is moderately wise, the direction it seems to be heading is north-northwest, which means it's heading for you know, the volcanic reaches of Kragvir. Huh? And as he's coming out from that, these three uh, barge in through the batwing doors with uh, Darwin probably still looking at his moose egg timer and Hazel just being Hazel, frankly. <laughs> and I don't know what Barnabas is doing beyond I have been babysitter and it's actually kind of helped. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now Remy and Alice are, 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 are absent. <laughs> I'm going to bounce over to Clarity, produce the penguin egg timer, poink. Aww, thank you. And give her a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> it occurs to me, first, it has no the fuck idea what any of this is. <laughs> but he's probably got a bit too much else on his mind to really care anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Also, also, to all of you who remember this, behold! And I've produced the cockatrice-looking one. <laughs> I'll just be here very, very, very happy with my moose, thanks. <clears throat> Evan's going to love this. I can give him... And then it, not, not and, and then it, and then it suddenly occurs that Alice is probably going to be a little jealous. She does actually cook. <laughs> is any further conversation going to happen about the shopping? Is Hazel going to talk about the moo juice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. I just um, I'm going to produce the spicy things. Oh, anyone want to try one of these? Uh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> just plonking the bag in front of clarity <laughs> I'll try one constitution save Hope. 20 did your your face is going a bit closer to red than it usually is but it's nice and you're probably going to want milk of some description, but it's nice. And moo juice. You have canister. come on. You have you have finished your moo juice. It was uh, it was the I... size of a three hundred and thirty mil can of, of 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 soft drink, but it was in more sort of a birch barky type of cup, and you would have finished it by this point. Got it. Thank you for clarifying that. There is a place that provides the exact kind of stuff that works with that. Like, it, 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 it's called Moo Juice. I just point towards the bar. <laughs> yes, but Clarity is going, why Moo Juice instead of milk? Well, that's sort ain't. of why I'm pointing to the bar. Milk. <laughs> I... milk? No? <laughs> why? Kind of. 
Apparently they make it out of, like, nuts and stuff. It's unnatural. <laughs> Almonds and oats. and It was good. And there's flavors involved. Both there can be. Nuts don't moo, though. <laughs> <laughs> the she, the she, lact gets it. she gets the it. The lactose intolerant DM would just like to extend <laughs> middle fingers to both of you. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> I decided not to question the name. It seemed the wiser choice of action there. <laughs> that and the I was enjoying was like watching this... just the machine operate. It was fascinating. Yeah, it was like a giant canister attached to the side of a cart, and it made noises. <laughs> and there were levers and things okay. adjusted, and it was neat. <laughs> and I am going to offer the bag around one more time, just to be absolutely sure. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can probably smell the... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Um, oh. be so, the, just in case, uh, Remy and Alice A managed to come back through the doors in time to have Hazel still have her her bag o treats out and that kind of thing um and it is around about that time we will take our break and when we come back we'll deal with everything else and have our kind of wind down from the utter shock that is what barnabas just pulled it's it's <laughs> the thing with remy and her her pulling of axe all over again <laughs> <laughs> in the uh, up and under uh, which is basically been Hazel playground in so much as she can uh, if she can find amusing bits of bullshit in what is effectively a cross between a, a small town five and dime um, an old west general store and frickin walmart um, meanwhile Remy is out in the mining uh, tunnels following a uh, mental compass on um, fiance. She apparently went a fair ways and uh, actually give me a perception check. Yeah, you can, you can, you, you definitely know you're going on, on the, on the right track, uh, Partly because of obviously the ring, but also because every couple of hundred yards or so you find a fist-sized dent in a rock wall. Um, a couple of spots where you know she's 
after the first couple, you can see she's kind of skinned her knuckles and she does not give a shit. <laughs> and, I mean, she, she walked a fair way, which is probably why, it, it, at least part of why she hasn't come back yet. Um, but you kind of get stuck at what looks a little like a dead end until you realize the ring is sort of tugging it up. And you look up and there's more cave a couple of hundred feet up that way. You're probably going in that general direction. Uh, I mean, considering <laughs> and then she just calls out her name instead. <laughs> uh, oh god, that's a that that's a pretty crappy perception rule. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no response. Remy. Yeah, she'll start climbing. <laughs> okay, uh give me an athletic check. Oh my god. Oh no. Ready is ready with a Misty Step. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how far does Misty Step take you? 30 feet? Yeah, it's, it's, it's at least 100 feet up. I mean, she's ready to. Oh no, the, 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 the... I mean, she's ready when she, is, when she starts falling, she is ready. Well, to... that's the thing, because that was such a crappy roll, the one handhold that she could get at around about her height level crumbles off because of the gauntlets, and now it's like, okay, I have no handholds. And you have a rock. Yeah, she's going to. So no falling, let just fall. And you, swear it's and it's, it's, it's only about step. it's only about three feet, so you don't have to misty step anywhere. It oh, really is just okay. you know you, you kind of had to jump to grab this bit of ledge, and then the little bit of ledge just crunch and then back down on your feet okay. like. And the next one is that you could conceivably use as a handhold is about eight feet up. Remy looks up again for more of a ledge than a handhold. Like if there's a what might look to be a cave entrance. Well, that's the thing. The cave entrance, insofar as there is one, is up. Okay. So there's no sign of where it would kind of flatten out again at the it's just to see the top of you can if, if 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 you step back you can just about see the top and there seems to be more a little bit more tunnel at minimum there's probably a probably a larger cave area back there if you get up is it within 500 feet uh i mean yeah Remy will dimension door up to that point and the first thing that you find upon uh landing in that general uh you know top of the ledge vicinity is a couple of kobold corpses their armor is kind of interesting it seems to have been stitched together out of blue dragon scales But they are, they are extremely dead. <laughs> Remy draws her sword and shield just in case and starts going forward. Um, make me another perception check. Pray it's better than your athletics. Mm -hmm. I think she, she has good athletics. Yeah, but that does not save you from a nat one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, mostly it's just every so often you're getting 
more dead kobolds. There's probably about a dozen of the little fuckers. And you you go about 500 yards and you come to kind of a branch off point. There's one that you surmise, though it's a little tricky to tell given how long you've been underground, um, is probably uh, heading in a westerly sort of direction. And there's a, there seems to be a bit more in the way of light and space from that general area. And in more of a south-southeasterly direction, there is one where there doesn't seem to be quite as much light. Your ring is suggesting the south-southeast area. Remy follows the ring. Yeah, um... Yeah, can you give me a perception check with disadvantage? Because it's dark in there. Remy puts a light on her shield. <laughs> okay, then... Uh, you're probably saved, in which case... You you cast... Yeah. <laughs> you cast... You ca yeah, well... Yeah, that, that's the thing. You cast light on your shield, and... It, basically, you step in a few steps, like... Oh, right. Shit, it's dark in here. Uh, cast light... And you wind up looking at the edge of a very sharp-looking, very ice-looking scimitar, which has checked itself about two inches from your neck. Next time, light the fucking shield up first! <sighs> sheaths it. Yeah, I was waiting to make sure that there wasn't any more company and then more company turned up and then its shield lit up, so, you know. Well, you did go a far way out. Yeah, uh, didn't didn't have a whole lot of choice as far as that went. Um, I mean, when you, when you spot that kind of movement this close to a habitation want to at least check it out. Probably should have thought to send ascending, but you know, by that point... Remy gives her a look over. Um, yeah, I mean... Actually, you, you know, you're gonna have to... With, with that perception check, she's apparently fine. Hmm. You... Are you ready to head back? If there's, if I've actually cleared the kobold raiding party, yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, it looks faster. And from where I was coming from, it looks like you got a good number of them. Yeah, well, they didn't really have time to fortify. Sneaky little fucks. I mean, these didn't seem to be the local friendly kobolds. They're sort of on the other, uh, some different section of mountain range, so. Right, yeah, I've been out longer than I meant to be. Sorry about that. As long as you're feeling better. Well, let's just say that uh, dealing with that I mean, I'm still not feeling great because not only has this basically, I mean, you know why the situation does not exactly please me, but it's more than that. There is a reason that I asked that Hoxa dude to try to figure out where the that Archfey asshole was going. I thought that Maybe, instead of us having to fight the damn dragon, we could do a mutually assured destruction kind of thing and go, yeah, okay, we wielded the sword, but why not go deal with the individual who made us do it? We could be persuasive enough. We could have dealt with two birds at once, but 
we do it now, if if the dragon wins, it A, it comes back, and B, we don't know how to get Barnabas's way home. If the Archfey wins, he might consider that a breaking of the deal and do something worse. It is gambling a lot on the blue dragon agreeing in the first place. I don't know that much about blue dragons, but I tend to know that it, to us, it, to, to, to that, we're not going to be as much of a challenge and it's used to command. It's going to understand that you don't want to go for the foot soldiers. You want to go for the generals. But it doesn't matter now. Because there are too many downsides and they all hurt Barnabas if we do them. We'll get to the Archfang in due time. Uh, it's not it's not so much that. It's just that would have been faster and would have been less liable for any of us to potentially die. <clears throat> Sometimes I like solutions that don't involve sticking a sword in it. Sometimes. That was a good thought. Yeah, well. I miss the sky. Won't be too much longer now. Mm-hmm. Come on, I'm sure people are going to start fussing if uh, if we don't get back relatively soon. Should we should get you cleaned up. I know it's mostly kobolds that are on you. Yeah, well, you know, prestidigitation is one thing, but I'm probably going to have to turn up at the mayor's office and let let him know that you know. Hey, guess what? Do you want <laughs> Do you want to come with me for that, or do you want to tell the others that we might want to vacate before Blue Dragon pulls any more shit? Yeah, we we better get moving. So we can go to the mayor and I'll get everyone else yeah. ready to go. Yeah, back through the tunnels and. Yeah, once you get into the slightly better lit um, town center, if you like. Yeah, no, a lot of that blood is kobold. Not all of that blood is kobold by uh, any kind of margin, and she just has not bothered with the healing. And it's pretty clear from the look on her face that nobody's going to bother with the healing until she finishes her report. Ren Remy Remy's just grabs her hand. No going. No. He needs to see what this can do. We'll deal with it later. Mm -hmm. Alright. We'll deal with it later, I promise. Can I hold you to that? <laughs> Removes helm kiss. Puts helm back mm -hmm. on. I know. If you don't, Hazel will. She can see in the dark better than you can. What do you think she's going to do when she gets a look at this? Exactly. It's going to save you that trouble. <laughs> look, either way, just go let them know to get ready. Because whatever, whatever they're doing at the moment, they need to stop doing it and get moving. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she walks, in, walks up to the mayor's again. office and knock, knock, knock as... as Remy comes back into the inn, absent in Alice, but uh, probably knowing her with the sword and shield still out. Darwin, like, I, I kind of goes, I, I, yeah, no, just starts <laughs> getting his tip together. It just, he just doesn't say a word. Uh, just... You don't have to rush, but it's time to get going. Yeah, and oh, Hazel, Hazel is still holding out her bag of spicy mushroom things. LSA found some kobolds of the unfriendly sort. 
So she was letting the mayor know that at least some of them have been taken care of, but it's probably time to get moving in that direction. Okay. Yep. Get I'm going to offer to Remy. Bag. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Seal that up. To personal for later. Uh, except the one person, the one other person aside from Clarity who might actually appreciate them is going to come back in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, wait, I'm waiting yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, as a couple of minutes later, a it's unfortunately a very Silent Hill-like air raid siren noise comes okay. through the just this and just keeps doing that as Alice a walks back in and goes, "This is apparently a call to arms. Try not to worry too much about it." <laughs> Starts scooping up her own bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, grab, grabs a roll and stuffs as much uh, of the cold remains of breakfast into it as possible. This is apparently a thing. Just stuff, 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 stuff. Munch. Pulling out the, uh, the spicy. Oh, dude. Never seen it done with these kinds of mushrooms before. Handful. It just pops one into her mouth. Munch, munch, munch. To be fair, I haven't seen it done that much with mushrooms anyway. Um, little chunks of, 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 you know, thick, thick bacon and uh, little, little sea shrimp sometimes. Nice. Mm, the, yeah. the sea shrimp ones tend to be a little less on the maple end and more kind of a, 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 a citrusy thing, but... Uh, they apparently had a punchier tier than this, but I wanted to uh, start middle of the road. Your middle of the road is very different from most people's middle of the road, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go. If we if we if we don't want them to have to deal too much with more of what that siren thing presages, we go and. When we're in a traveling thing, I want to know why Furseth has a look. But we'll wait until we're actually moving. Let's go. Yeah. Remy reaches for Elsa's arm again once they're moving. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. Forgot about that. Because one of the things that you, you, will, have, you will have actually noticed uh, as you're, you're packing up and leaving is that yeah, I mean, it's probably a common enough sight for Alice to be covered with blood that you almost kind of tune it out, but then you start to realize, wait a minute, not all of that is cobalt, and oh yeah, no, that's that's some that's some that's some scratches and bruises under there, and her knuckles are a mess, and it's it's just to turn, turn around and oh shit, yeah, sorry about that, and uh, touches and it. You, basically you know, touches her own knuckles just to get that part of it dealt with so that's her her 12 Remy takes her hand you know, her and then brings her hand up to her no. face plate yeah she's still down about 20 Remy will give her 15 lay on hands yeah that's cool so yeah, mostly gone. A couple of couple of bruises and the. Given that we're still mostly traveling by uh, mining cart and through various outposts, hopefully I'll be able to find something that's not just mass prestidigitation, which I will do. But then they're how lucky are they? Yeah, they are. They are actually just coming up to the station when the uh, mining cart that they need for the next leg of their journey pulls in. 
So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll I'll clean up as much as magic can let me do. Froseth? We can't hear you. You're muted. Oh, yeah, that that helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so um well I, I, I with, with the it coming up, I took a look at the the whole Draco Lich thing. And it seems like it just recently woke up our suspicions on which body pretty much correct and is probably heading for Craigvir. Well, another red one is. That probably the one that did whatever rituals to make the the younger dragon have at least the size of the ancient dragon. I should also remind Froseth because his 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 character probably has a slightly better memory for things than his player might. Um, also hates Remy and Alice in equal measure for breaking both the body it's in now. For Alice's case, and the body it was in before, from Remy's from Remy's side. Yeah, it, 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 it's there, there. There was a sensation of like a specific kind of hate towards uh, points at the two. Wow. Remy, Remy looks sidelong to Alice. It's, 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 Very looks, it's, contently. Oh, at <laughs> least it's not just me this time. <laughs> it 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 kind of gets a little bit aggravating being the one that the dragons hate the most. It looks at Barnabas. It's because I've had the kill shot on so many of them. I thought the I thought the Corvel one was largely the most impressive. Uh, I mean, okay. The red dragon was more gravity killed it. I facilitated by breaking the bits of shoulder that let its wings move. And it just went, nee. Unfortunately, I was trying to dive, so I didn't plummet. And it caught me through the, yeah. Uh, but uh, while that was impressive, I like the teamwork element of having actually Coravel had magic and he set me on fire and it wouldn't stop mm -hmm. fucking burning and at least not until I cut his head clean off the only reason I survived that was because uh, Darwin has his aura of life tattoo and to be fair I'm not even sure it's supposed to work that way but either either Bahamut or Paylor through Ziriel decided that they were going to let it happen just this once, because being on fire for that long is not recommended. Only just got my hair fixed. I don't have that many vanities. My hair is one of them. That's a good choice. Yeah. Good thing it's not too much my clothes. <laughs> so, it's gone to Cragveer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Weren't I tend we... to try to assume bad with things like this. Weren't, weren't, <laughs> we, weren't we worried about that black shit <clears throat> oozing up out of Cragveer? I think so. Because, you know, it's an underground thing, and they gotta be getting- well, A, they gotta be getting it from somewhere, and B, remember Frosa's story about what happened to his- or your- your Torin's story about what happened to Frosa's village. And I'm sure- I'm sure Faraday would have a few things to say if I was asshole enough to ask. Yeah. 
Yeah, at first I thought you can shake your head, but if anybody was going to ask so that we might know what we might be in for, it'd have to be you. Yeah. To be honest, if anyone deserves to know on that kind of level, it's you. But thoughts for another day. We 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 have we have a couple of priorities, and while admittedly one is of more general concern, I honestly consider the other one equally con of, of concern on a personal us level. We deal with that blue dragon so it doesn't send fucking kobold raiding parties. And then we're going back to Agraf and I, we're getting wet because Barnabas gave up I don't even know to make sure that we had a happy and non-interrupted wedding. So we're gonna fucking have it. That kind of sacrifice deserves no less. Get the hand on your shoulder. Uh, really looking forward to the wedding. I I just couldn't let him. I it was a it was a chance. It's just me versus all of you. I'm what I need isn't that important. This place isn't so bad. And I... We're still going to try. I don't know the mechanics of what he did, if it's possible to undo it. But at the very least, we're going to try. But that's for later. For now, Absolutely. for now, Reden, we, we honor the sacrifice. Uh... Actually, it's 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 Remy and uh, and Ava who will know that 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 word and the accompanying subtle hand gesture is not. It's not just a random fucking word. And given Helm of Comprehend languages, it's starting to pick up the few words the people have, and Remy knows the meaning of re. And so does Ava, and where it comes out to. Oh, the three of you probably figured out that that would likely mean Hart's brother. Pat. On thank, thank you, Barnabas. You do the same for me, don't lie, so. Well, yeah, but I was kind of made to do that kind of shit so I mean literally that's that's kind of what I am but I get it I do get it yeah. I'm just saying it's, it's slightly you and Remy is kind of on an equal footing although with, with her vows that's a whole different thing we all have our reasons and some of us have multiple reasons for me, it's literally what I was made to do, and also, I haven't really had that many people to care about, or for, or anything, and when that happens, that's significantly precious, and I would rather them carry the memory of me caring that much than to live carrying the memory that I failed them. I understand. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I've been kicking myself for feeling like an idiot. I just snap accepting and not thinking my way through, but... It might have been better if you had, but whatever happens we're there's no judgment here beyond we're gonna make it right whatever came of that we're gonna make it right it was either accepted or attack him and from what i understand i'd be a dead man the moment i tried that honestly 
given that you know we didn't even see you move you it prob and given what he is i don't think you'd be so lucky no. stuck in an endless torture chain. okay i i do have a question for all y'all just about Faye and Drenel. why why are they and who lets them and what bloody purpose do they serve their own what sort of bullshit universe lets this sort of shit go unchallenged and unpunished? One that's a lot less orderly than yours? Mm. I mean, this kind of shit is the reason, as far as I've ever been told, why most of the gods kept themselves, keep themselves beyond the Divine Gate. They don't want the temptation of doing what powerful entities like that do. And, you know, anybody else who might know different want to weigh in here, but as far as Archfey goes, no one's entirely sure that I've ever talked to what they are, whether they're just very, very powerful mortal beings for varying definitions of mortal, um... Very, very minor gods, which are still head and shoulders above any mortal being that you might come across. And to be fair, they're not even from the Prime Material Plane. They're not from Elon as we know it. They are they originate in the Feywild, and some of them apparently make their own little pocket universes. So it's not this world specifically, it's just one that's easier to travel to to from here and vice versa I mean I'm just belly aching but I appreciate the uh... the best way I can describe them is take, take uh, you know how pixies are how 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 you have you ever encountered pixies actually you have you met Jaloy yes I mean Jaloy is is, is 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 one of the friendlier examples but Arshay, as far as i can tell are just they may have started off as a as as pixies but over however long and however wibbly wobbly time is where they're where they're originally from they stayed there longer and changed mm. gained power and they still had that same I can do what I want behavior pattern as before. Their their view of morality is very different than ours. Some of them is closer to ours, but I mean, come on, Her Majesty, while she's at least non uh destructive for the most part, that's not in your standard book of etiquette, you know? And it's the more, some of the more disturbing stories I know usually all involve them in some fashion. So, I mean, those are stories and, and songs I don't tell. The one, the few times I've seen them told, people had nightmares later. It's the visuals that were described and sometimes sometimes the visuals isn't even just the horse it's the thinking about it later yeah like the whole putting yourself in the position of the main character in the story don't ever do that oh jeez uh excuse me we've all already been there yeah i know i know i know i know i know but you're right <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I hate to do this to you, Barnabas, but make me another intelligence check. <laughs> this would be around the time that if he was going to, it would start. Yeah. That's around the point at which he's going, you know, okay, this if it's not so much the physical and they're talking about how tricky they are and you've met let's face it, you've met lawyers. Let's face it, he's related to lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden, he's like, 
I left hey. the wording of that a little. Uh. Alice mm. is just kind of looking at him like, shit. Did, did I, instead of, did I just give him the way back to Ravnica for him to use? You may have just random, you may have just given him the ability to plane walk in general. We don't really know. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of why I was dancing around the maybe should have thought about the wording part of it, but like I say, it's you had the best of intentions and we're gonna fucking fix it. It's up to us to be the ones who make him face consequences. Yeah, it's if, if I don't I don't I don't know what happens to your way home after this. We will try our damnedest to get it back for you, but at the very least it, we will deny him access to it. Absolutely. I mean everyone, this is one hundred percent bravado coming out of his mouth and you don't know how much he actually believes it. If he tries, he's welcome to try to go back to Ravnica. Actually, make make out. make me a deception check because I am inciting this shit. Oh, Same. Similarly, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that was a twenty-six. So much yeah, lower. mine was not that much lower. <laughs> Good gods, us. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Anyway, I, 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 rolled I forget terribly. how bad he is at lying. Yeah, he's a terrible liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone read him the looks like. Sure. Factually, factually, I don't know if you know his assholeness will really have all that much. You know, it'd be as as powerful as he thinks he would be. Intellectually, emotionally, oh, <laughs> it's still worth it though. No matter what he does, it's on him, not us. Well, let me let me common sense something out for you. Mm. Might help. Yeah, he's an asshole, but that kind of assholery is always more effective if you watch from a distance for a while first. Mm. He didn't screw with us until he knew the best ways to screw with us. So he's gonna watch for a while. He's not gonna do anything right off the bat. He and needs. He find. needs. He needs to shut up about then. Basically, he needs to learn the rules before he can effectively break them. Yep. Makes sense. And find the best place to strike, so it's designs. It's, Place yeah. places, to be fair. Um, I think oh. every every place has interesting domino effecty kind of thing, but let's not go too far into that. Let's just keep it at he's not gonna do he's not gonna jump to doing anything straight away. He's gonna figure out the limits of what he can do with what he's now got. Whether it is just Ravnica or if it's any of the other places you got yanked through on the way. He might decide that some other world that he now has access to is more fun. But wherever it is that he goes, he's going to have to do some learning before he acts on anything. Man, it's plenty of time to get shit done and keep the and, and then do some damage control. It's gonna yep. be fine. And yeah, Alice is not uh, it's not uh, indulging in bravado. She means this. Also, you've got Butterscotch poking head out of Ava's bag and sort of straining towards Barnabas. Like, I sense, I sense comfort is needed. I sense comfort is needed. I sense <laughs> comfort is needed. And as and as 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 Ava holds about it, it's just nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. <laughs> well, 
Thank you, guys. Seriously. Well, likewise. Yep. Uh, so, just to make sure I'm up to speed, we're going to take care of the blue dragon, and then mm -hmm. where are we going? Uh, we're, we're still going to hit, we're still going to hit the silver vault, but that's only because we need to research, like, well, Tiamat for start, um, and then probably, like, anything to do with that black shit. And while we're there, I mean, there's eight of us. Of course, the problem with that is, guys, keep in mind that for access to various bits of the silver vault, we're going to have to do a thing. But it's a fair trial rather than the kind of bullshit that we've had to be dealing with lately. Mm -hmm. And uh, to 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 get to to get to the adventurers hall, I you know, me and, you know, my my pack, we led a, a wizard to some old ruins out uh, a little bit east of Demille. Cause it it dangerous out there, so. But it might be that it might be, might be a couple of weeks of cataloging. Depends on what needs done. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cataloging. I don't think we'll be that lucky, but you never know. And unfortunately, I don't think that most of us would take cataloging as such a such a joy. Especially, we can't really afford something that time. Well, maybe it won't be so much time as it is a certain number of books, and with eight of us, it'll go faster. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, uh, taking someone on a trip to, uh, to ruins in the waste isn't exactly a short prospect either. Travel alone mm -hmm. is, uh, is a sure. thing. I back me up here for a sec. Yeah. And, and you you bad. had and you had you had more you would have had a slightly more protected spot, really. You know, training and everything. We just have out there. I mean, you know what out there looks like you would have had to travel south. That must have been fun. Either way, we, we, we get it done, we get access to the things we need, we do our research as fast as possible, because there is no, there is no taking the books out. They don't, they don't leave that place. Are we allowed to take notes, then? As far as I'm aware, but I think you have to be careful about exactly how much mm -hmm. you take. It's something about since they store everything that's written down, they don't exactly want exact duplicates. Mm. Fair enough. Don't think it's become that much of an issue for most people, though, because most of the people don't do so much a written language, but we have enough issues about you know, too much writing down from the scholars that come through. Trust me, half the reason we make it as hard as we do is uh, apparently to discourage people going in willy-nilly and getting access to, like, people's diary entries and shit like that. Everything ever written. Mm. Oh, I know. Uh, part of me is just, uh, you have access to all of that, and that's what you... Okay. Uh, pick a, you know, pick a monarch, pick a governor, pick a ruler... Mm. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, you keep forgetting that the world is not just you and people like you. It's full of people who can abuse information they have. And people who could easily be laid low if someone abused that kind of information. Plus letters would easily tell, for instance, where... You as a hero, uh, you know where, where your close family is, how best to get at them, who to 
look like in order to get right up close to them. There's a lot of stuff you can do with a diary. So they make it really hard. Particularly if they don't feel that your intentions are honorable. And people's diaries is the hardest of all. It's essentially reading someone's mind, even, essentially. Pretty much. In a sense, yeah. Jesus. Part of why the uh, people of Ambach are fairly sensible. We don't keep them. <laughs> There's not that much of a written language on the wastes as you can probably imagine. We don't produce that much in the way of paper except in Demil, and they just stick with common for the most part. <laughs> And everything has gone quiet. This uh, this always feels like a bad thing with us. Uh, well, I'm just thinking that all of my notebooks are in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And somebody is somebody is potentially reading and using your notes right now. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, we're gonna have a whole series of, 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 of While I appreciate your patron clarity, don't mess with the scholars <laughs> Because one day they will write a paper that adventurers like us might be needing to use to save the world and they will be basing it on that information and then the world ends you know, I wasn't going to mess with them. Maybe just write them a nice note and tell them hi. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Clarice. Please, please, <laughs> please, 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 please. And can 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 you draw? There's there's the, there's the endless fun of doodling in the margins. I do doodle in the margins. Right now, there are flowers, um, but sometimes. There's very badly drawn pictures of people. And then I say things like, I suck at drawing. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that, that, that's mischief and whimsy enough, huh? <laughs> you are such a sweetie. <laughs> Actually, while we're, while we're mostly in a, in a, this is this is this is more of a for a re thing. So if if y'all want to give us as much of a minute as you can when we're all in the same mining cart, uh, did have a did have a question for you. It's just a passing matter of curiosity. Is it gonna be like less than great for you to not have your parents there when we're getting hitched? It's fine. No, that's not what I asked. I mean, mom's gonna need some time to process it. But it will help that I will be writing a letter to her about that, and then... That's still not, not what I'm asking. I'm not asking about how your mom feels about it. I know how your mom feels about it. I probably know how your dad feels about it. What about what you want? I want to marry you once we get to Agrath. And I'm okay that with mom and dad waiting for us to do a bigger party sometime down the road. But just okay with it. I mean, this has all happened very quickly, even though I told you in Dolores, you're thinking how quickly it had happened, and that was. Yeah quite a good thing, but and I think I said before, it's not as if my answer would have changed if we waited months or years. That's just an arbitrary time, so 
I want to do this now, or after we deal with the most immediate crisis okay i'm gonna I, I i i i i understand all that i appreciate all that and now i'm going to have to rephrase the question to see if i can actually get an answer to the question that i asked <laughs> would you given your choice never mind how soon and the technical possibilities and all of that if given your choice clear of all the other logistical bullshit would you want your mother at our wedding yes okay is watching her she she got she got her answer if you want if you want to insight check this shit then by all means is assuming there's gear, there's something being planned. You give me an insight check. <laughs> given that, uh, given that, uh, Alice is proficient in deception and she has bardic expertise, you know, she was, she, she had, she had a question. The question is now answered. I mean, to be fair, you guys heard all of that, basically, so if any of you all want to check any of this out, that's your choice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insight check this, just to see if I can figure anything out. I will insight, but <laughs> I'm not going to question. Good thing Hazel got it then. 21. <laughs> yeah, Hazel's the only one who gets this because again that proficiency expertise level 12 and not a bad role not a great role but not a bad role if it had been any better none of y'all would have got it <laughs> hazel however has this alice can cast sending Belarus to Egriff is one day is a day trip. Sending works with people you have spoken to before. What do you think Corey Crestwind would say if a properly worded twenty word message about this when they're sure everybody survived the dragon? But she's clearly trying to keep it a surprise, but she obviously just as clearly wanted to make sure that, you know, Remy wasn't happy to avoid having her mother at the wedding. Before surprising Remy with it. I'm just going to there, I'm just going to happily settle back, lean on clarity a bit more, and just kind of enjoy this show. And at earliest opportunity, if I can do this without anyone else noticing, just sort of fist to Alice's shoulder and approval. You prob probably, because you, know, you guys have a, a change of uh, mining carts after a while, so it, it's easily enough done when getting out and just sort of get a glance but of course it's you who notice kind of grin and <laughs> Remy's leaning against Alice but she's definitely not noticing well no is it because all that's happening <laughs> on the other side and Remy can't see over Alice because <laughs> height oh damn short yeah and you know there, there, there's weight and there's snack and <clears throat> You guys honestly spend another couple of days of this. Stopping in little outposts. Most of them not as comfortable as the last one was. It's There's a couple of times when you kind of need to set up the tent just outside of the really tiny spot in some places. You're offered a Space it. More of a bunkhouse than anything else. 
But after those three nights, um, and following various bits of guidance and maps, you come out to... Yeah, you're actually walking the tunnels by that point. And a few hours outside of a very small, surprisingly well-fortified little mining outpost, you come out to... Uh, Nom's mute button? Yeah, sorry. No, that's, that's fine. It's just the, the, the typing and uh, description is happening. So, yeah. A couple of hours out, you come out to this absolutely massive gate. More of a, more of a big wrought iron door than anything else. Um, arched entryway, but it stands, uh, about 25 feet high and about 30 feet wide. The iron doors that make up this gate are carved in some very intricate patterns. None of them, for clarity, actually seem to be words, although... They're starting to approximate the feel of glyphs without actually being them. But it's clearly incredibly ancient. It's very... I mean, Ava and Froseth notice this more than the rest of you. Because one has studied and one just is. There's a very draconic feel to it. There are... A couple of deep gnomes standing guard. One of them from under a surprisingly large helmet is, Ah, you must be the adventurers. I am sorry to have to ask this uh, so very, very bluntly, but we are expecting all of you to be coming back this way. <laughs> the, the, the one on the other side is the asshole is asking if any of you are thinking that you might be about to die. He wants to ah. he wants to wants to know for figuring the odds. Well, so I didn't plan to die anyway. And Alice says, just do you do you count resurrection? What? For the death count, do you count resurrection? We've got, like, two people who can cast Revivify here, one of which can actually cast, a, you know, proper, straight-up resurrection. So when you're doing your, 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 when you're calculating your odds, do, and setting up your betting pool, do you count people whose hearts have stopped or people who were dead for longer than a minute but it got brought back because you know i've been brought back to life like twice in the last couple of months so you know i don't know where i fall in your and you know the, the, the gestures <laughs> froseth um clarity God. hazel and the the, the 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 one who'd asked is just sort of standing there but sort of holding his spear somewhat more loosely and the other one is going thank you i think you broke him <laughs> <laughs> Look, if somebody's gonna make a betting event, if somebody's gonna make me a betting event again, I want some fucking specificity. <laughs> well, if you ever come by this way again, maybe he'll have an answer for you. For the time being, I'm I'm letting you through here. I may have to. I mean, I know you are adventurers, and the answer to all of this is probably yes, but uh, Cabreaval law does say that we have to get you to sign a waiver. Because technically you're leaving Cabreaval territory and protection, and we have to make sure you understand that, and that there are some fairly horrible things in the tunnels down here, and there's also the whole dragon that I'm pretty sure you're the ones who are supposed to be killing, but... You still have to be made aware of it. So I have this pile of documentation. Comes out with a pile of paperwork about the 
about as tall as Froseth's head is long. Jeez. But thankfully, he's separating it into eight separate piles. And do you have any sentient animal companions? Uh, Flitty is boop. Digs around and pulls out a a, a, a secondary form. Um, who among you is is primary caretaker? I um... I carry the Flitty bag. <laughs> then these are yours. I feel like we're his <laughs> animal companions. <laughs> I mean, you know that... He's taking care of us. <laughs> it's literally I saved our lives on more than one occasion. <laughs> yes, we, we do we do we do tend to make some allowances for that in the paperwork, but effectively we look at it from the point of view of Bipedal and shorter than three feet. He would not do quite as well without you because he does not have very much in the way of thumbs. Then Flitty just in Sylvan. Thumbs are very important. <laughs> the thumbs make the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, um, somebody may have to help me translate if uh, if I need to ask flitty questions, but I'm sure we can get through that. Yeah. Um, anybody want to make me an intelligence check? I think actually you all do. Yep. 15. 22. What is this? The curse of twos? Oh. <laughs> the heck! <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh. Darwin. Hazel to a point, and Alice and Barnabas. Barnabas is fine. Barnabas has had to fill out this kind of waiver bullshit before. Mm -hmm. This is th this 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 in a given the situation bittersweet nostalgic kind of way feels like home. <laughs> Darwin's Darwin's had to deal with you know his father's trade bits of crap before, so this isn't quite the same, but. Uh, it's still doable. Alice A doesn't seem to be having any particular kinds of problems with it. Um, Froseth is struggling. He doesn't really... They, the monastery didn't have use for some of these words. <laughs> <laughs> the monastery did not cover this. Neither did Ava's nobility training. She was apparently supposed to be rather more decorative than this. Yeah, you know, she she was supposed to have a seneschal for this. Remy's grumbling. She didn't have to do half this much when she joined the combine. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's. <laughs> so she she she's very much plodding along with. It's like, why are why are they asking me this? Why are they asking me this? And clarity is actually a bit miffed at herself for not understanding some of these concepts because these are legal concepts and Clarity spent so long skirting various bits of the actual legal side of things that she's kind of like but this doesn't hurt anyone except maybe me and I what if I want to <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, um, long story short, uh, Remy, um, Clarity, Ava are struggling significantly. When Alice A has finished dashing off her paperwork, she sort of sits down and helps Remy with some of hers. As long as you sign them, it should be fine. If I get stuck on anything, I'll ask you. 
Go big. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to make my way over to to Clarity once I've sorted mine out. Just kind of go, that one actually goes there. And I think that one's that one. You got that one right. That one's good. I don't like it. (laughs) (laughs) Try to think of it like try to think of it like sorting out the stuff for the library and running a checklist. This is boring. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It is. Does anybody want to help poor Ava? Because Ava's Ava's the worst of all of them. It's like. Garvin up on the first page. <laughs> Garvin up, pitch up with his. Look around, see Ava with the with the with the vein <laughs> and crinkle, the confusion crinkle, and 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 and, and sit down next to her and and uh, yeah, old man trade contracts. Um, I we can we can work this together. We got this. Thank you. And eventually. With with various bits of help, the waivers and bits of paper are signed, and uh, the, the 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 betting individual is still kind of broken, and the other one is just like, well, I would like to say that that is the most uh, hazardous and strenuous thing that you're going to experience beyond the salt gate, but that would be lying, and I am not particularly fond of doing that. So I will simply wish you the best of luck. If you do not kill everything that you come across, please don't bring it back through here, because you will have to fill out forms coming back, and there's whole bunches of questions and import forms, uh, because the that is technically uh, considered other countries... Uh, territory until such time as uh, asshole dragon is removed. What happens in the case of a murdered stay with chase? Uh, you kill it before it comes in through the gate, or we don't open it. Okay, good to know. It actually says on page six. Have you seen him on the page? Fair. Fair. It could have been Remy worse. It could have been a triplicate. For Ava. That's quite fair. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just sort of... Actually, technically it is in triplicate, but uh, that's actually... You need to stand there and put your papers in a pile, uh, waves a hand, mutters a word, and they all get three times higher. <laughs> triplicate. <laughs> That thank you I'm... for doing that. <laughs> no, you don't understand. <laughs> Revolutionize. <laughs> I'm just glad that none of this is going to get lost in a peat bog for three months. What? I don't know. I just got really worried about that for some reason. <sighs> Alice is like, okay, we filled in the forms and you've kindly triplicated them for us can we just go and uh, agree to as your paperwork more or less says come back with our shields or on them yes okay <laughs> reaches and pulls the surprisingly small lever and you hear this chung as something on the other side of the door just chung. and then on this side you see things turn and another bolt and then the entire thing retracts doesn't swing open just like a like an elevator door but very slowly with a grind of gears and chink of pulleys and chains and beyond is not entirely dark but mostly There were mining lights there, and some of them are still functional, but, and given how old they look, those things last a long time. But for every one that's still lit, there seems to be something like four others that are broken or worn out. 
So it's no guarantee the rest of them will last. The best of the best of luck to you, and may the gods of your choosing be with you. Or you know, god-ish type things. I don't know. Some some go with imbued with the power of science. Right, let's go, guys. Mm -hmm. Onwards. And with that, you step beyond the salt gate and into what is technically still the Blue Dragon's territory. And since we are pretty much exactly at that time, we will leave it there. And when we come back in two weeks' time, we get to deal with the journey and the destination, hopefully. Depends on how well you guys do the journey. But anyway, some of us got places to be and floomps to go to. So I see some of you in two weeks time. And for one, two, three of you, uh, I've been learning a thing in Japan. Mataraishu. See you next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>